Hey guys, it's Sam Bricks. And guys, before we start the video, sorry I've not been uploading videos lately. It's just the past, of course, days I've been really busy. And especially today, um, I actually, it's pretty late. It's just, I need to make a video. It's just, I am actually starting school right now. So this week is actually going to be pretty busy. So sorry, of course, not that many videos come out. And just the past week has been so busy. And of course, Saturday, DC Fandom happened. And that was, of course, insane incredible man that batman trailer was amazing the Zack snyder trailer was amazing the Wonder Woman trailer was amazing and of course all the other stuff the games and like that was also amazing but today we're gonna be talking about of course the new uh batman the dark knight returns mayfix figure with batman and robin and finally we got the pre-order for this i was actually gonna do the video for this one yesterday but the price did not pop up at big bad toy store it was a little bit annoying but finally today it did pop up and I do get to say, for $149.99, that's not too bad actually, but I did hear it was supposed to be $130, so I'm a little confused with that, but $149 is not too bad. Um, it would have cost, of course, a lot more if, of course, they were separate, because um, I think Miles Morales was also $95, and of course, Robin right here is going to be cheaper, so technically, let's say Batman's like $95, of course, like, Robin's only $55, and that's not bad actually, because... I would have for sure saw them most likely posting the Mayfix Robin for like 85 or 95. Most likely around the 85 because it's a smaller figure, but they did charge the same way for Miles Morales. So this is not too bad. Um, most likely will pre-order this one because it looks amazing. Um, pretty shocked with of course the accessories and how they look. Batman right here looks pretty awesome. I do of course like like the blue suit a lot. Of course iconic from of course the Dark Knight Returns. Looks really cool. The cape looks amazing. I know we got the look of the Hush one, of uh, that one of the Mayfix, and it does, have, of course, look too poofy. But I don't, we haven't seen how the Dark Knight Returns one's gonna look like, because I think next month the the black one and of course the one he's of course beat up should be coming out next month. The most likely will get delayed, so I guess we'll see. So we don't know fully. But another thing I just noticed was, of course, this figure that. Around his neck, he's going to have some kind of thing for the cape so to push it down. So I wonder if, of course, that will affect the, the poofing and like that. Another thing I'm wondering is that, the other thing is I'm wondering is that the cape, it looks like to be wired. Most likely is because the pose he's doing, of course, the jump with Robin does look um, wired for sure. That most likely is. And that looks incredible. The pose, of course, right here with Batman and Robin. Insane, of course, pose right there. Um, Batman's, of course, head sculpts are pretty cool, actually. We, go, of course, get like around three. And we actually get a Bruce Wayne head sculpt. The, of course, the head sculpt for Batman is when, of course, him looks a little bit sad. Or technically a little bit more mad. But this here is, of course, a grin. It looks pretty awesome. Here's one. looks like the same thing, but maybe his eye is one of them a little bit more closed. And the other one's a little bit more open. So, kind of confused with that. Of course, head sculpt right there. But still looks really nice. And, of course, here we have the Bruce Wayne head sculpt. Let me try to find it. And there it is. It looks pretty good. I actually got to see the picture again of the movie because it does look a little bit different, but still doesn't look too bad. It might be, of course, the comic version. I could be wrong, but still looks pretty nice right there. Here, we, of course, have Robin, and I do get to say she looks incredible, really cool. And look at the size comparison to Batman. Dang, she is small. Does make sense. She was, of course, pretty small. And, of course, the movie um, this is going to be 4.3 inches, and Batman is going to be 6.3 so yeah that's a pretty height difference right there compared to batman and robin that's insane here's of course a picture of of course batman holding her and of course right there looks pretty cool she has looks like it's gonna have an accessory of uh i forget how you call those again uh not a cross crossbow i forgot you call that oh my god i forgot the name uh if you guys can let me know down below but that was pretty cool she has that she did of course use that in the movie um another thing that's pretty interesting that she's only gonna have so far stays right here two swappable head scopes oh slingshot there you go slingshot oh she is gonna come with a stand that's pretty good um so so far only two head scopes that kind of does suck um but at least it came with some at least it came with some sorry for that but yep here's of course the one of course her hair's a little bit more up here's one of her hairs going down and of course the one hair going up her she's smiling in this one that looks pretty cool but i kind of wish we got at least got like two more head scopes or one more at least and yeah um the cape also looks amazing um, that one also looks wired. Most likely is another thing. She's gonna have the same thing. What Batman's having around his his um, Batman had it around his neck. She's gonna have it also. Um, well, she looks amazing though. I'm pretty excited, of course, to get her. Um, 
so far I don't see any complaints. Maybe there's only one thing. Um, the of course around her. Um, I don't know if you really, if you call that a skirt. That piece right there might affect, of course, the posing. But so far, when you see some posing, it doesn't look like too much. Let me see the pose again. That the side. So far, she is pretty well posing right there. Oh, the part she's jumping looks also pretty good. So it doesn't look like it's gonna affect too much. But I think it might with some posing. So it doesn't look too bad. She looks, of course, incredible. Um, Batman, like I said, looks awesome. Really cool blue suit. Really excited, of course, to get the black one. I just need to get it. It's just there's so much stuff been coming out for pre-orders. And, like, oh, my God, especially this, like, 5-1 Battle Pack. I want to buy more of those. And, of course, like, September 1st, Diagon Alley. That's going to be insane, of course. But do you guys say looks incredible? Most likely will buy these two for sure for $140.99. Um, the only bad part, of course, I see so far is that it's going to be coming out third quarter of 2021. That is insane. Technically, the same, like... September is just of course next year. Oh my god, that's insane to me. That's really insane. Um, but yep, that's what we guys thought. So the course of this two pack right here, you guys gonna pick it up, you guys gonna pass. I'm really excited for it. It looks amazing. Can't wait. So thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.